Okay, hi Aquarius. Start by asking how your person is thinking and feeling right now. Okay, in four, please, how is Aquarius's person? In three, please, how is your person thinking and feeling? Two more. How is your person? How is your person thinking and feeling at the moment? I actually think this person is very much in love with you, but they do not want to share their feelings. Um, I do believe they're insecure and very afraid to open up. I feel like they feel like you are very stable. They don't want to lose you. They may feel a little possessive over you. They don't want to share you with anyone else, that's for sure. I feel like you are very giving to this person, but they don't reciprocate. You could switch the roles, by the way. Uh, so this person does not like to be vulnerable. It could be a bit controlling. Uh, I don't think this person will ever be able to let you go. <laughs> okay, show me more, please. How is your person? You can reverse the roles here, okay? Eh. Show me how your person is thinking and feeling. Okay. Wow. Now, they could be feeling that <laughs> there could be a bit of a power struggle here. So they may feel that you're holding back a little. And this may be making them even more controlling or, um, I mean, this person has very strong feelings for you. They don't want you going anywhere. Put it that way. They may, they may want to hold you back. Show me a little bit more, please. They're definitely holding back their feelings or they're not, they're not sharing them. They're keeping them to themselves. Wow. Yeah. So they could be holding back commitment as well. So I feel like they see you as the perfect marriage partner, very reliable. Show me a little bit more, please. If you may, if this is, show me a little bit more, please. Yeah, I was about to say that you you may have been married to this person. You could be married to them now. If not, they want to be married to you. Now, the other thing is, if if this person is married. Um, you know, all of the above still applies, but it could be that the reason that they're, well, I did ask how they're feeling. They want to be married to you. They may already be married to you. Show me a little bit more about how this person is thinking and feeling. All right. Now what's going on here? Uh, they could be thinking about marriage, con considering it. <sighs> or if you know that this person is married, they could be juggling you and a marriage, a marriage partner. We're going to have to figure this out. Um, why do we have the two of pentacles, please? What is... <clears throat> what is the... <clears throat> What is the two of pentacles? In two more, please. What is the two? And one more. What is the two of pentacles, please? What is the two of pentacles, please? Okay. Uh, there's some kind of a truth here. So they're thinking about telling you a truth. This doesn't necessarily mean that they're married, but... The Four of Pentacles could have been something that they were concealing as well. What is this? So what are they thinking about saying? There's, they're thinking about saying, telling you a truth. What, what are, what is this truth here, please? Wow. I, I think this is a situation where they want to marry you. I really do. 
there's something that they want to say to you. They may want to know a truth from you. They want to know a truth about you. Oh, what do they want to know? Because they're imagining you saying something. What is this truth that they want about you? Oh, they may be worried that you're going to reject them. I, I don't think this person is married. I mean, if they are, they could be extremely worried that if they tell you that you're going to reject them. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling more along the lines of this person wants to marry you, but what they're worried about is rejection, is whether or not you want this. What do they want to know? I don't know what you're going to say. What do they want to know about Aquarius? What do they want to know? What do they want to know? Oh my goodness. Wow. So if this is somebody that you used to be married to, they want to know if you miss them. If this is if they chose someone else or you chose someone else, they want to know if you regret it. They want to know, or do you miss them the way that they miss you? Are you disappointed in them? This person is very much in love with you. Let's just see what they feel bad about because I feel like they feel like they ruined things. Maybe they delayed too long in asking for a commitment. What, what is it they're, that they're feeling bad about? What do they regret or what are they in a state of remorse about? What, are, what is it that they're regretting? It's like they feel like they did something wrong holding back. Yeah, oh, they do feel like they ruined everything. They do feel like they ruined everything. So there are, there are a couple of things that this could be. If this person is married, they're regretting not ending the marriage. It's holding back from an ending. If, if this person delayed on commitment, I feel like they're regretting that because you may have ended something because they were holding back or maybe they were controlling. Essentially, they feel like they've ruined everything. Show me what they know. Show me what they're regretting the most. What, what of their behavior are they regretting the most? And then we'll figure out what they're going to do. Oh, dealing with other people and denying it and being, you know, pushing away feelings of love, <laughs> not standing up for you. Good grief. You know, they may have been very stubborn about, a, you know, staying in the single lifestyle the only other thing this could be is if other people were ganging up on you guys as a couple, they're regretting not standing up for the union between you and them. If their friends, for example, convinced them. I just think what they're regretting, though, is staying too long in the single lifestyle, just being, being stubborn. What are they regretting the most, please? What is your person regretting the most? What is your person regretting the most? Yeah, just thinking, I just feel like um, they wasted a lot of time fooling around, being immature, partying, dealing with other people, confusing you, treating you like an option when in fact... I don't know why they were doing that. They could have been doing that. This could have been some kind of a, a power thing. But it, obviously it did not work because I don't think that you put up with it because they're worried that you're going to reject them or maybe you already did. The Ten of Swords could be an ending that you already uh, brought about. This person doesn't like, what they're thinking about is they're thinking back on, here's you. They don't like the thought of you 
You might have been shocked here when you found out that they were seeing other people. They don't like the thought of you, you thinking about that. This kills them, actually. So why did they do it? Why were they doing this? Why were they showing off? I feel like they were showing off. Why were they doing this? This is complicated. I shouldn't ask that. <laughs> Uh, to guard their heart. Um, because they couldn't imagine you investing your cup in them. You're, notice how you're uh, coming out as a queen and they're coming out as a knight. So they weren't as uh, mature as you. Why were they doing that? To guard their heart, block... Uh, uh, Keep you confused or so you couldn't see. Just, it could have been to show off to make you think that all these other people wanted them. Clearly this did not work. They, they may have just been very immature. With the Knight of Cups, I feel like it should be read in the reversed energy here. This is love is a game. You know... They may not have realized who you really were. <sighs> All right. So what is this person's, what are they going to do next? What's this person going to do next? <laughs> Make things right and marry you. Well, it takes two to tango, bro or bra, whoever this is. They want to make things right, Okay. All right, how the heck are they going to do that? If they're married, they're going to get a divorce here with justice. Show me what their next action toward Aquarius will be, please. I think that this person missed the Aquarius 101 class. Yep, they did. <laughs> this, is, this is where it gets interesting. So I feel like they think... That if they offer you commitment now, they can get the controls back. What action are they going to take toward Aquarius next, please? What is their next action toward Aquarius? <laughs> See, they're trying to get the controls back. But they're in the Nine of Swords. Why are they in the Nine of Swords, please? Why are they agonizing? Why are they in agony, please? Why are they in agony, because Aquarius has left the building. Like I said, this person missed Aquarius 101. Never ask Aquarius. Never say, there's the door, because Aquarius will go, okay, and they'll take it. This, I do not feel, is reversible. Once I see you guys get in the Six of Swords, it, you rarely turn around. I mean, it would take, you know, some kind of a, you know, I don't know what. Okay, so they are in agony. See? Let's just see what happens next. This should be interesting. So what... What happens next, please? What are they going to do next? This is what I find very interesting. They're going to start calling and communicating. This, I think the problem that this person is going to have, like I said, is they missed Aquarius 101. Now, I'm in Aries, but I have been studying Aquarius for years. If you're dealing with, if you guys are... A January born Aquarius they're in trouble because here's the thing you although you you can be very affectionate you don't like being tied down um, and they may not have seen that you do have a need for space and freedom and what they're offering you now suddenly is commitment but what you wanted what you were giving them was affection and so this is not going to work this is not going to work 
And not only that, but the first deacon Aquarius are, they do not allow themselves to be socialized. They're nonconformists. So there's nothing that's going to, there's nothing that's going to stop you from walking out the door because you're a free thinker. Um, and, and their biggest problem is you guys enjoy your solitude, even though you're incredibly social. So this is stuff, this is why you can't miss Aquarius 101. They're in just as much trouble if you are in the February 1 to February 8 deacon. In fact, they're in huge trouble if they're dealing with a February 1 to February 8 deacon because you guys, the middle deacon of Aquarius is, and no offense, but it that is the deacon that lacks staying power. So don't, they should not have given you one iota of an excuse to walk out the door because it is so easy for you to do. In fact, that's your card, the Six of Swords. Moreover, the second deacon expect uh, mutual affection. So if it's not returned, it's not that you become depressed. It's just that it's bloody, you know, it's not acceptable. It's not, it's especially if they had some kind of a hidden agenda. The second deacon of Aquarius despise hidden agendas and people who aren't honest and truthful. And it's the big, their big problem with second deacon is you guys are head over heart. So they have no idea. They were, they were guarding their heart. They have no idea. You were opening. You had your heart open. But that doesn't mean that your head isn't going to kick in here. They are equally in trouble if you're in the third deacon, if you're from February 9 to uh, the 18. I actually, for some reason, I, I just call this the press eject button. And I love watching it happen. No offense to this idiot, but, you know, people have to learn. The only, if, they're, if you guys are in the third deacon, they might, might, have a chance to get you back, but they would have to really romance you. Um, anyway, let's see what happens. What happens then, please? So they're going to contact, communicate, call. What happens then? And they're going to get angry. And they're going to get angry and jealous. What happens then? Now, I don't know what's happening here because you may already be with somebody here. See that? I think you are. I think you're already with somebody over there in the Ten of Cups. See how fast that happened? Do you see how fast that happened? Uh, Aquarius, uh, what do you call them? Uh, watchers, I forget, cross watchers. Do you see how fast Aquarius got their Ten of Cups? So don't screw up. Yeah, look at the judgment. Yeah, look at that. So. Uh, well, the good news here is that as soon as you, I mean, th there is no bad news here. It's all good news. You're in the Ten of Cups here. You could be with a, a Scorpio, a Pisces. You're getting exactly what you want here. Whatever this is, I feel like th this was sort of uh, written in the stars. These could be ancestors here who brought this in for you. What is the lesson for this person, please? What is the lesson for this person? I feel kind of bad for them now. Wow, they should have taken the opportunity in the past. Look at Six of Cups. See it in the next lifetime, literally. Don't screw up in the next lifetime. <laughs> you know, I feel like some, some of you might have said that. I'll see you in the next lifetime. <laughs> Sorry. The lesson is, in the next lifetime, take the opportunity when it comes in. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to, to joke around. But it's an incredibly beautiful outcome for you guys. Anyway, let me know if it resonated. I love you guys so much. That's so cool. Anyway, okay.